This is Make Mine Vintage, and today I want to share with you my third junk journal. Um, it is nine and a half by eight and a half inches, and it is actually made from a recycled picture album. It has three signatures. The spine is four and a quarter inches wide and the title of this album is birds blooms and butterflies and it reminds me very much of my mother um, the cover is done um, with denim material and the roses on the front that you see are um, from wallpaper border uh, it's decorated with a dolly on the spine and um, if we turn it around the back is has a large pocket on the back um, this is the dolly and it has a dangle tassel that's made with uh, muslin and material and beads and in the front, it ties with um, a pink ribbon. And here I'll show you uh, the three signatures, one, two, three. And this was done because uh, my album or my journal uh, was too big and it's still too big, but it's full of wonderful things. We're gonna open it and tilt it back to the inside cover and um, I used um, bird pictures here and a place to put a name and tuck spots across the page this is done with uh, wallpaper the title birds blooms and butterflies and we have a, a corner double tuck spot here and uh, these roses were cut from an old uh, calendar and uh, lace put on the edge and then we'll turn this page um, it has a pocket across the bottom and um, old music page, old envelopes and tags and rubber stamped. Across the page, sorry, uh, this is scrapbooking paper, old music uh, and gold uh, tissue paper. Text spot here on the side. Next page is uh, covered with a dictionary page and uh, a corner a double tuck spot. And the other side ties in with it. Um, hummingbirds printed on vellum and a corner tuck spot. And uh, these are uh, to be written on uh, with like a, a chalk pencil. Next page is dictionary um, label that I recycle, uh, rubber stamps, and tea or coffee dyed envelope, which also has tea dyed paper inside. Across the page, we have a vellum corner. Um, these daisies are, are from a greeting card. Uh, this is uh, just uh, antique ephemera and, and a big tag with a tassel. And the uh, little love thing put on with brats. Next page has a uh, flip which you could put a picture underneath or 
uh, paper for journaling and it also has one, two, three, four uh, places to slip little goodies in. Across the page uh, we have dictionary paper again. We have a little pocket with a uh, see-through bag and that has a little uh, round pieces that have uh, butterflies and words on them. And we also have, of course, a little magnifying glass. So you can look at your butterflies. And we have a little jar with a butterfly in it. Next is a card and matching envelope that I've incorporated into these two pages along with um, music paper from an antique book, um, a book um, thingy that you check out books from a library, and uh, we have tags with silk flowers. And across here we have double tags with the music on them. Next page is um, from uh, Hymnal, and uh, the song is uh, There Shall Be Showers of Blessing. And we have a metal piece down here um, with a chain that says blessings. We have a nest and the bird eggs, a round tag, and of course, uh, a crow feather and our stamped crow. Um, this is done with the rose pictures, um, a verse, a Bible verse, and several tags. A um, piece of an old button card. This is done with a greeting card and um, matching envelope and lots of spaces to put big tags uh, in those library card here and butterfly okay this is from an uh, uh this page is from an old uh, music book uh, and i found this song uh, the life of the rose and um, this envelope opens up and it has copy dyed paper copy dyed paper um, as a journaling spot with the butterflies and this text back in there if I can't get it well we won't worry about that and uh, the matching page is done with the calendar roses the butterflies um, this is from a, a greeting card and the lace this again is a greeting card, and this is from a greeting card. And um, this is just a pocket with lots of little text spots in it. This is scrapbook paper, a large tag with washi tape, and um, a bird that I've glued on here. This is just a piece of uh, computer paper that I folded and put in for journaling and this is a little book that I've made that has birds songbirds pictures and the backs can also be used for journaling if, if you need that across the page is a is a a card uh, this is uh, an antique um, card and um, colors match well then on the envelope um, a, a glue lace and then I also have uh, the closure done here and and it has it's supposed to have a card in there <laughs> And, and this is another song that I found in an old book and it's Love in Bloom. So it ties in with my theme. <clears throat> uh, another music antique 
um, envelope which says um, gentle thoughts of you in beautiful handwriting and uh, has a music page inside and then I have several um, different places that can be used for writing different tags and there's a little bitty pocket down here that has a little bitty tag with a little bitty butterfly Okay, the other side is matching. This, uh, again, is uh, the envelope that went with this card. Washing tape on the back, tea dyed paper inside. And uh, this is a pocket with several little tags and the paper clips. This is scrapbook paper um, envelope from olden times and this is a envelope with a sunflower and that ties in over here this was from a calendar and we have a large tag here and journaling paper another text box and this these are done with a, this this um, page is done with scrapbook paper and also wallpaper, border, a large sticker, and um, tags that I've made and um, the little goodies on music paper and, and a nest. Um, this is a, a real feather again that slips right into the bottom pocket and this feather is one that's that I've mounted on onto a like bias tape card or something. Uh, but again, I, I love the, the real feathers. Um, across the page, uh, this is from a bird picture that was on a lampshade. And I left the front open um, to slip in a tag. And we have a sticker with stamping on it. Um, a doily here on the side and the background paper is actually brown paper sack. I've used that a lot and um, and then some just little sayings and and uh, numbers. Okay the next page is a dictionary page scrapbook paper a doily and this is a, a cork um, that is adhesive on the back. And this is a manila folder that I've cut down and, and it has tea dyed paper inside. And I've added just uh, some words on this that say fly. It has the twill with the butterflies going across in the background. And a number up here. And then over here we have just the side pocket and uh, we have uh, different tags in there. And this is put on with a bulldog clip and they're just uh, little journaling papers. Let's get them in there right. Next is another page from a, a hymnal. Um, and, and I've used a, a rubber stamp um, rose rubber stamp that I have. Uh, we have this side left open for a tuck spot and we have a doily in there. And this is um, stamps glued and this holds uh, this little booklet and it can be drilled or written in. And then when you slip that back, you'll raise your stamp up and that holds that back in. Across the page, um, again, we have the dictionary paper. These are from greeting cards. Um, and uh, this is rubber stamp. Uh, these are Tim Holt roses. And this is actually a tag uh, that was on a garment. And the little pocket down here to hold them. Uh, scrapbook paper, scrapbook paper, a library card, a doily, and um, then I, I put a silk flower here and music paper. 
across the page. We have um, dictionary paper uh, file folders that are cut in miniature, um, tag out of a book. And then um, it's another piece of the scrapbook paper that I made a tag out of and I made a pocket out of uh, some music paper. This stamp behind, I actually used the little um, circle reinforcers that I put on my tags. And when it was empty, I thought that'd make a nice stencil. So I just inked uh, where the holes were and I thought that turned out good. Okay, this is more wallpaper. Uh, these birds are from a calendar. Um, this is actually some stationery that I had that was shaped like this, and so I used it as a pattern, and I put the bird um, and nest inside, so you can discover that. This is a tuck space up here with some more scrapbook paper. Uh, across here, we have more miniature file folders that I've made, and I made a little... Um, envelope uh, with paper inside out of this same scrapbook paper. These are tags and that I've, I've rubber stamped onto those. Okay, um, this came from a song book of what the world needs now is love, sweet love. And I thought, well, that goes good, the colors and everything. And, and so I wanted this to show but I needed something on the page. So I made these out of just the like envelopes you get junk mail in and I cut them off in this little window that your address was in. I put um, bird pictures behind there. And these were from cards, I think, uh, greeting cards. And this is actually a playing card that I found that had cardinals on. And then these are more uh, greeting cards. I just cut them out. And this is a, a book uh, card that you check out books. Another uh, greeting card here with cardinals. And on the back, um, a pocket with a cardinal uh, tuck. And then you can read all the words of the song. You can even sing it if you want to. And then um, you can look at everything and then you just tie it all closed so it's neat and put away. If I can tie from this way. That'll work. Across the page is a dictionary page. Um, some flower stickers, um, butterflies, and I put this on the edge of the uh, corner pocket and his his wing moves and then we have tucks back here with little pockets with butterflies and I love using um, the old ephemera this is um, a button card that actually still has the buttons on and they were they were 29 cents so that's been a while ago Okay, this rose picture is from a box of stationery that I found and it actually had the stationery and the envelopes, everything was still inside, never used. So I um, put them together for the, the uh, coordinating pages. Now, this um, plastic here is what was on all of the pages of this photo album that I used and it had little slots in between. And so I was gonna take them all off and then I decided that would be a, a good way to display postcards and different things like that. So I left some more of those in. This is the first one um, that we've seen. And I took um, the waxed cord that I used to tie my signatures and I just uh, ran through the holes um, and, and tied the bow and it's working real good to keep everything tight and give me a little bit different display 
um, than I had before. Um, these, this is off a greeting card, dictionary page. Um, this is just some netting that I used. Uh, this is a music paper with uh, a purchase card that I had in a set. This one again is from a calendar and this is just a sticker that I had and I had a picture of a bird egg and I cut it out because the nest was empty and I put it in the nest so that that can be seen. This is washi tape along the edge here. And then this is dictionary page and these were purchased I think at Hobby Lobby. They were little tiny like envelopes uh, brown paper and um, I found these little tag things that fit in them really good and, and then I just added some little stamps and and uh, different older ephemera. Okay this again is a greeting card. I'll lift that up. And uh, it opened. You can see that. And then I made it open again. And inside I made a like a small tablet with a coffee dyed vellum. And, and that can be used for um, the journaling. And this again here is washi tape. Okay, these are pictures of butterflies that um, I mounted to little signs that you uh, could label things with the chalk pens. But I just glued the butterflies to them and I think that they really helped them to stand out. And these are wooden, but they didn't really take up that much room. Did the same thing on the other side. Uh, again, brown paper sack and washi tape. This is um, wallpaper and wallpaper border for the background and then this is a big um, tag that opened up and I decorated it uh, with butterflies and old paper um, that type of thing and and it opens up and inside I put a pocket on the bottom with another butterfly and then I used a rubber stamp uh, to stamp um, more butterflies and then ink the edges so that it all kind of just coordinates. And I glued more butterflies on. And then this is a little tiny uh, Velcro. So they, they hold it shut. Okay, this is scrapbook paper, but I love the rows. And I did the, the angled corner pocket with another butterfly, tissue paper, and um, dictionary paper. And then this is, uh, I think, a Tim Holtz um, rubber, not rubber stamp, but a uh, tag. And I've inked the edges. Over here are just, this was a greeting card and um, a number. Uh, this was another greeting card, and I just uh, cut them to fit, rounded the edges, and, and used them like a postcard. This is, we'll start on this page. Um, again, a song from a hymnal, It Is Well With My Soul. And the birds are always, I think they, they uh, are very peaceful. And uh, this one, again, was off a lampshade that I scanned. This is off a of Rolodex. Um, this is part of an envelope that went with the card that these birds were in, and I found um, napkins um, that had the Bible verse, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And the color was, was uh, in the lavenders, and so it all tied in together. And then I also found uh, another card, which is slippy, of buttons that were in a yellow. And these were 29 cents when they were new. But they just they just add something special. 
Okay, this is uh, flower stickers. Um, this was dictionary pages that I tore in pieces and and just uh, decoupage together. This is brown paper sack and I use a hole punch just to punch that. Don't have anything in it, but you can put something in there. And this is another pocket um, with a little bird and the music. This page is again the, the coffee dyed envelope and we have more tags over here with tag, with pockets on them. Um, and this is a, it's a trim that's little roses. And so it just looks so good there. I decided to put it there and then I just have one single one over here. And this is tied again with the waxed um, cord that you can tie your signatures with. You can use ribbon or anything, but I like the smaller. Okay, this is from a calendar. This is the file folder here, and this pulls out. You can get it. You can, you can see here again. Um, this is how the original picture book, uh, picture photo album was and the holes were there, and this is the string run to the other side and tied. Okay, this is a file folder. Uh, the bird's on the front. You can write in there if you want to. Uh, it also opens up here. And uh, so that went in, and what I did was I tied the string behind the plastic, and this fits over the string so it covers it up. And sometimes, it's on top of the plastic. This is another um, tag that I've made and put the nest on it and then this one slips in like that so the bird is looking at his nest. This is scrapbook paper here. This is from a calendar and this opens up, it's cut here so you can get inside and there is a coffee dyed paper there and I did the rub on the same nest here and this is a a manila envelope that's been cut down. And then this is actually, I scanned some actual crochet work that I own. And, um, and so um, I did it with, with the blue and uh, I like the way that it looks. This is just a, just a, a card, blank card you can write in. A little book, this is a Part it's the end of an envelope. You all have probably got lots of envelopes with that bird, but I always love the barn swallow. And then it also has the little book that goes in there. You can put whatever you want in them, but that kind of it kind of adds adds to the look of it all. Okay, um, these are bird pictures that I have put onto cards. And these are pieces of antique um, crochet work that were, you know, they were in bad shape. And I'm just, I cut out the good and, and use it. This one has the card pocket on the card and then you can put things in it. Okay, this is a rubber, I rubber stamp the text here. And this is another tag I made out of the the file folders and it has a tag on the corner of it and it is actually uh, has a playing card in it that goes with the colors and the and the theme which I just slipped out but I'm gonna leave it and and then this um, is a little pocket that I've made out of flashcards um, and so those are really cute and something different this dictionary page, again, my uh, inking of the um, leftovers of the paper that I took the little um, circle things that go around your holes in your tags. Um, so I, I did that. I left the front of this bird open uh, so that I could put a tag in it. And what I've used here is the, the waxed cord like you can use for um, tying your signatures. And I also, I don't know if you can see it here, but um, this page is tied around 
and a, a bow made with an actual shoestring, a new shoestring. Uh, this is a belly band, and this is from Scrapbook, and it just fits in there, and it's supposed to go over that. And this little card slips out, and I used a brad to hold the silk flower in. And uh, here is a flower sticker and the gold metallic um, tissue paper works really, really good um, to go behind things like that. This is part of a greeting card, a paper sack, um, wallpaper, little bitty sack. This can be written on with the chalk pens and I've used a bulk pen to uh, um, hook this little round label thing on here and we also have pull it out and we have another tag in this so and then there's a little coupon here tag and um, the little tassel on the paper clip um, found this in an old music book and the title of the song was awakening of the birds and it was perfect so Cover that page with that, put the corner pocket with the, the chalk, chalkboard sticker. Um, again, a black tag can be written on with the white pens. And this is actually a postcard that uh, fit well in there. Over here, we have another bird. Uh, I scanned a lampshade that had birds all over it and used that. Um, this little tag has a feather on it. And the pocket that is in this is um, the music. And this is actually, if you guys buy Tim Holt stuff, this is made out of the card that goes behind a lot of the different things that he sells. And the colors were right. And so I just added card stock and, and music. This is also a tag can go back here too. Um, these are off a card and um, off stationery. Uh, this was out of a magazine, but it was perfect for what I needed it for, and it's a good journaling spot. So I just um, cut the card and envelope and, and made the tuck spots. This is brown paper sack. And this across here is just to give a little... Um, more space to tuck things in. Yeah, there's another even iris card there. And then the edges can go or you can actually stick things up in those things and believe it or not they do they do stay pretty good. Okay, I covered this page with the, the gold um, Tissue paper. I love it. It's great. Then I did another little file folder, and this is actually a piece of music that I use a rubber stamp on. And this is a greeting card that I just, some of the art on the greeting cards are just beautiful, and it was perfect for my book. Then I added one going the other way, a rubber stamp over here. This is a metal sign I had from in my stash. Um, this is a picture I downloaded from free downloads off the internet. This is another tag I've made that has the corner slot and then it has more tags in it and tied with some more netting. And that slips in there. Uh, some of my favorite pictures, roses and bluebirds and the colors I think are just beautiful. I left the, when I glued them, um, I left the fronts open and then I stamped the bluebird on this little book or tag and that fits in there and it ties in well with the sack, brown paper sack over here. One of these is Eastern bluebirds, one is Western bluebirds and I don't know which, but um, on this, it's the same scrapbook paper. Uh, I put the little pocket across the bottom with um, 
a punch that I have done and this little tag I, I rubber stamped a little bird on it and then up here this is left open so that a tag can fit in there. Like those pages. Okay, this is uh, dictionary paper. Um, coffee dyed uh, envelope and wonderful coffee dyed paper which you can write on. Scrabble um, tiles. The envelope is glued on, but it's left open here so that um, you can do tags. Um, these are stickers, and this will eventually have something on it. I don't know what. Coordinating page, we have, um, it's kind of a vellum that's uh, for a flip, and you could put something under it. Uh, haven't done that yet. And it, it has a lace glued on top. Then it has um, the side fold. And this is just a tag I made. Again, the pic pictures come from um, cards. And then there's a little notepad. And there's another little um, tag there. And uh, paper clips are cool because you can just take them off and put them on. And uh, they, they make things stay in better. You can even decorate your, your paper clips. Um, this is violets. I've done the, the corner tuck with the lace. Again, we have a little book that I made with um, a playing card and uh, it opens and the colors coordinate. I did butterflies and um, more of the flowers, and this is a just a little writing tablet or journaling pad that, that you can use um, wallpaper and um, more of the gold tissue paper. Uh, this is off a calendar, and uh, this is a, a Manila envelope that I've cut down and we have uh, several tucks in there and this is just a little round uh, what are they called pogs I think and I covered it with brown paper sack and then then put uh, some ephemera on it we have uh, tags here we have another pocket with a butterfly and this um, the colors were good on this, and it's just the label off from uh, seam binding. That looks cool. Uh, over here we have a giant uh, tag that I made, and uh, it has a pocket on the bottom. And I really like this because when I put it in, it extends the flowers over and makes it look like an even bigger bouquet. So I thought that was neat. And then I just used lace on the top um, for the pull tie. Um, you've probably seen these throughout the journal and these I downloaded from the internet. Um, and you just glue them on both sides of your paper. You have different things on each side. And they're little tabs. So they give you something extra. This again is from a calendar and I have uh, a corner uh, slot here uh, decorated and um, some paper in there and some stamps up here and then over here again is the um, the plastic covering that was on the original paper of the photo album and and I just um, used they're just uh, watercolor um, postcards, and I've decorated the front. If if you are so inclined, you can you can paint on this type of thing, and you can you know make your own art journal. And this is just a bunch of little stuff I'll I'll glue together. Um, this is the same border, the rose border that I used on the cover, and I absolutely love it. So I made a page out of it. Uh, 
the base is again your old music. Some of this is really brittle, but once you glue it down, it, it works fine. And this is just a tag that I made, journaling tagged to fit in. And then these are the, the postcards um, that I've cut pieces out of this same border and just kind of collaged it in there. And again, we're tied with the, the wax cord to keep them separate. Um, scissor tail flycatcher, which are beautiful birds. And uh, this is scrapbook paper, uh, brown paper sack. This is from uh, some kind of card game um, that you keep score on. This is the, the side tack that you can put stuff underneath. And then um, this is the male and this is the female, I think. I left this open and uh, just used uh, a tag in there. This is off the internet, uh, free downloads. And I left the side open. Uh, the background is paper sack. And this tag, um, thought it opened, guess it doesn't. Anyway, it has the little um, pocket on it and a little tag, and that fits in the side there. You can see here where the signature's tied in, and this, this uh, cord goes through here, through the back of the journal, back through and in several times, and then you tie. And so that's how that's done. It's getting a little easier all the time. Okay. Um, scrapbook paper. Um, this is a little um, bird book that I made. You can just do as much as you want on them. They're really fun. Um, washi tape on uh, a card and little tickets and tags. Um, music stuff. These are stickers. This has the the top corner uh, tuck and this has um, journaling space and you just push those in up there and they usually stay pretty good and this is another little butterfly tag. Okay these are a couple of my favorite pages. Um, and this rose scrapbook paper, uh, Hobby Lobby. Um, and, and I loved it. I did the uh, dictionary page on the back of this, did a little pocket down here that I have. Uh, I rubber stamped these little envelopes, and these are, I think, in some of the Tim Holtz stuff. Um, mainly on this, to me, the important thing is the, the coordination of the colors. Um, each page can be like a piece of artwork. This is um, washi tape back here. And again, here's our little photo pockets um, that I've done. A, a coffee dyed envelope, rubber stamp bird. These, these roses are off the same paper as these. And then I did a, a pink coffee dye uh, cardstock. And, uh, and ink the edges and rounded them and they all co coordinate together and I, I really like that one. These are, these birds are off a greeting card. Uh, this is the envelope. I just folded it three times and put it in with a paper clip and a tassel. And these um, are also from either the envelope or a greeting card like that. And they're just, uh, this one, is a book, I'm not gonna take it out, but it's a book, you can see the brads here that hold it and has this strip that it fits in. So you pull the whole thing out and stick it, uh, look at it, stick it back in. This is a wallpaper border. Again, butterflies on the black tags and you can leave the wings hanging over and it looks good. Uh, this is Tim Holt, uh, butterflies. I cut the worm off, I didn't want a worm. It had a caterpillar at the bottom, so I just left them. And again, the uh, stickers and uh, butterflies. 
Okay, this, I wanted something different, and we probably noticed that before, but some of the pages I actually, I folded over, and uh, you can see how they work. And then with the, I made a little file folders and the, the greeting card, and the paper clips hold it together. If you don't want them, you can glue right here on the top and bottom, and it works the same way. It gives you something different to have a shorter page. Uh, this is eight and a half by 11 scrapbook paper, which I just folded in four. And then I made this tag with the um, butterfly on it and a sticker. And these over here are more of the just white cardstock that I stamped uh, with a text stamp that I have. And then a butterfly stamp that I have. And then I glued these on. Uh, this is a copy of an old postcard, and that's made into um, a pocket with a journaling place on it. Um, this is a picture out of a magazine and another one of the uh, stamps that I did on the music paper. Uh, this is downloaded from the internet, and it also has the little uh, flashcard. Um, which it just gives you something different uh, and it has the lace along the edge that gives it a little more pretty. This is um, the manila envelope folded down. You can see the top is higher here and so this makes it a tuck spot which I have a bird and some music. This is off a greeting card and uh, this just pulls out there, gives a little more color. This is glued on, and this has something in it. It's either music paper or tea dyed paper. This is the back cover. Um, this is from a calendar, um, the gold tissue, and uh, the lace over the top of that. Then um, the butterfly here with a, a wing on the little booklet and a wing off and then you can uh, journal in this or add whatever you want and so i think we got through it i hope you enjoyed it and i'm not sure if i'm ever going to do anything this big again but i learned a lot and i have really enjoyed it and i thank you very much for um, looking at my creation and i i hope that uh, you got some tips and ideas and that you will um, make something wonderful of your own. Uh, if she can fix it, that would be awesome.